Um, I think Dean is trying to figure out how to work with Walker. Mm -hmm. She tried to figure out all last season, and it was just like a little spark thing that just wasn't Mm -hmm. connecting. And so I think with Retro Girl gone, it changes the need for Power Division to really be on top. It's strange. It, in some ways, it's brave, I feel like, for someone without powers to go into the middle of people who have more powers, more capabilities than you, and still say, no, I deserve to be here. I deserve to have say in how things happen. I think it's a great parallel with you know, our world, that there are people running around this world who just decide, I have all this money, I have all this power, so I get to say how things are. and. I see every day people fighting the streets, people vote, people, you know, pay money to businesses they believe in. There's like that little guy without all the power who says, no, I have a say too. And I, I love that about Dina and I love that about power division. I love it. It's ballsy. Power? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, and I, that's another thing we share too. It's like, I'm virtuous. Totally virtuous. I don't want any of that stuff. Of course you want it. Um, but and I think it's one of the things that like makes Retro Girl's death so hard because Retro Girl was a hero. Like she she used the fame and the media and the money and the imagery to get to a more positive place as opposed to like getting caught up in it. And it's real easy when you don't have that stuff available to you to judge it. And and I think. Dina's like, no, I know what that is. Like, with her dad, I know what that is. I don't want that. But powers, that's a whole different story. What would her power be? What do you think her power would be? <sighs> All of them. I think, <laughs> I, think her, I think her appetite's insatiable. You know, she wants to know everything. She wants to be in everything. So she's wolf. Yes. <laughs> yes, which is one of the reasons why I think she can't stand Callista. She's like... Um, I know... What do I know? <laughs> I know that... The death of Retro Girl uh, changes Dina immensely. It's, you know, like losing a, a big hero, the way it changes our idea of the world and the way the world works. So it's gonna change who Dina is deeply. First season, she was struggling with, you know, thinking that the world works a certain way and being, and having a difficult time adding in uh, who Walker is to the way she thinks the world works. And so this season we're smacking her right across the face like, ah, something you thought was a sure thing is gone. How do you survive now? Um, so she's kind of in a, a tailspin of not quite knowing how she can be powerful herself.